So the general run through. University accommodation has two location options and two bathroom options. So you can either be in city or enclave or have or rather and have and or have an ensuite, which means you have a bathroom in your room, or a non-ensuite, meaning you don't have a bathroom in your room and you have to share a bathroom. So um, that's four options in total. You have enclave ensuite, enclave non-ensuite, city ensuite city non on suite and we're going to go through all of these with pictures and videos prices distance to and from uni and just general facts that you might or might not want to know about these places so we're gonna start with the most popular accommodation choice which is enclave slash one more um it is a 20 to 30 minute walk from the SU, probably a 25 to 35 minute walk from the Diamond, depending on how slow or fast you walk. For me, I'm a very slow walker. It costs um, £6,150 per academic year. Um, you have the edge at your doorstep, which is really nice. It can be really noisy at times because teenagers, hormones, independence. To a hormonal teenager! It's just, but it's not like noise from outside sources. It's people just having parties. So, you know, you could always sneak into one of the house parties. And that's fun. Um, yeah. Um, Enclave is really pretty. It has a lot of greenery. Um, the room that I'm showing you is an enclave village, which is a bit different from where crew is located, which is the next um, room I'm going to show you. But it's really pretty, very green. It's a wonderful community. Most first year students would be living in enclave village. So you'd be able to find your friends very quickly. Um, and during the summer, they had like a barbecue in the park area. It's huge, it's its own village. That's literally why it's called enclave village, but yeah. Um, you're looking at Derwent, it's really nice, really pretty, do you know what I mean? But kind of basic, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so now we're going on to Ranmore. Um, Ranmore looks completely the same in terms of the room layout, but the location is different. Um, it's a bit further off from Enclave, so it's about um, 35 to 40 minutes away from the SU, depending on how slow you walk, really. To be fair, you could make it in 20 minutes if you have long legs and you're a fast walker, but it's it's a stretch, it's a distance. Um, it is generally quieter than Enclave, mostly because it's smaller, like everyone is still hormonal teenagers, but it's quieter than Enclave. Just a bit further off looks exactly the same i can't i couldn't get you um footage of Ranmore, so that's unfortunate but it looks exactly the same as enclave if that is any help now we're going to look at enclave nono suite so i'm showing you where i lived which was crew flats if you haven't already noticed new at home we're no longer in enclave we've moved to city we're a city girl no <laughs> i'm I'm a city girl now. And that came with a lot of unpleasant surprises, which I'll tell you about in a completely different videos, but also some pleasant surprises or no surprise, whatever. Either way, um, telling you about crew where I lived, it was to me amazing, lovely, loved it so much. Um, so it was very pretty, very green. Although the layout of the buildings was more traditional, we did not have a lift, which was very upsetting when moving in and out of the building. Um, crew flats, as it is now, used to be called crew hall, and they weren't divided into flats, they were just huge buildings that have been here since, like, I would say the 60s, because I had, like, an alumni reunion with people people who had graduated 50 years ago and they were like oh this crew hall is still around and i'm like it's been here for a very long time so you would see that this is an old building but at the same time it's just so pretty like it's so beautiful and i think they've renovated it quite well um as you probably know it's not on suite so you don't have your personal bathroom but 
um do you do share a bathroom and it can be quite a livable situation depending on your flatmate my flatmate were really nice most of the time and you know our toilet situation and kitchen situation was was pretty good if i do say so myself a lot of the flats in crew are 10 people flats so you would be sharing a flat with about nine other people and you would have two like toilets bathroom situation and one big kitchen either that or you, like me you have like six people in your flat and you have just one bathroom which was what happened to me but it was completely fine it was, it was all right it was all right it was all right it was all right um yeah it's like a 20 to 30 minute walk from the su students union so it's like same distance as in clip it's really not that big of a deal and it has a tennis court which is the best did i ever use a tennis court no do i regret it yes uh, it has a tennis court and its own laundry system so everyone in Enclo village does their laundry at the edge which is which is great and everything but in crew flats we had like our own laundry was it a lot no but was it really nice and like conducive yes absolutely it was really good um Oh yeah, and of course, it costs £4,997 per academic year, which is about 44, it was a 44 week contract. And to me, that was one of the cheaper options. Next on, we're moving to City Shed Bathroom, Case Study, Broadlink Court. As far as I know, this is the only um, non-bathroom accommodation available in the city. In Enclave, we have more than crew. I think we have like Enclave Vale flats and things. I've never been in there. I have no idea what that looks like. But crew flats, yeah, that's one. But in, sorry, in city, you don't really have any other choice in terms of non suits except for Broadlink quite. So, um, it doesn't have a lift either. You can also tell that it's it's an old building, but it's not necessarily as old as crew, but it does not have a lift, which is very frustrating and non-accessible. Um, it's about 10 minutes from the SU, which isn't bad, which is actually very good. And it's five to seven minutes to the diamond, depending on how, you know, fast or slow you walk, as I said before. And this is really good if you're an engineer because as you should know, engineers live in the diamond. Sheffield is basically an engineering university at this point because anyone you talk to is either studying mechanical, robotics, aerospace, civil, um, some form of engineering, materials, some form of engineering. But yeah, if you um, are doing engineering, you would want to live close to the diamond because that's, that is your house, that is your home. That is your, it's your house, it's your cocoon. But yeah, um, you can even see the diamond from the window. It's pretty good. Um, I think you are going to be six in a flat, in every flat. Um, the bathroom is really good because you're just six people, but you have two bathrooms, two toilets. It's amazing. I love that for them. I love that for them. But the thing is, in crew, I had two windows, sorry, windows, and in Broadway, they just had one. So, like, in crew, it was just very aesthetic. It was very, very pretty almost all the time. And in Broad Lane, it was like, it was just a hole. That was what it was. But in Creeper, like a house hole. It was cute. It was definitely cute. But again, City and Cliff. I don't know why I'm doing this comparison here. Either way, it cost £4,845 per academic year. Next, we're moving on to ensuite in the city, and this is our favorite, 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 Alan Court. Yay! So, um, Alan Court is about 12 minutes to the SU and five to seven minutes to the Diamond. It's so close to Broadling Court, you lot are virtually neighbors. Um, it is, you can also see the diamond from the window, so it's very close to the diamond. It is the most modern out of all the accommodation options at Sheffield. So if you're looking for like aesthetic, cool, modern, yeah, I'd go to Alan Court. It's really nice. I, if I could afford it, I would go there. That was me. That would be me in Alan Court. <laughs> yeah. Um, it has like a gym and a really pretty common room. It just had so many features that you can't really see in any other um, 
accommodations. I should mention, Ranmore has the Ridge, which is its equivalent of the Edge, and the Ridge has a gym, which is really good. And you can use all these things for free, which is amazing. Have, did I ever use it? No. Do I regret it? Maybe. Um, yeah, it's really nice. The the when I filmed this was actually the first time I had gone to Island Court and I was pleasantly surprised. It was very lovely, very, very lovely. Their kitchen space is really, really nice. And I feel like really if you can afford to live in Island Court, go to Island Court. It's really nice. It's, it's the best of everything. But it does cost six thousand seven hundred and eighty three pounds per academic year. I mean which compared to like the four thousand, it's like that's like a two thousand pound increase. It's a bit interesting but if you can afford it definitely do there are other accommodation options available i mean there's always private accommodation so um private accommodation are cheaper than uni accommodation a lot of the times they're better in terms of what you get for the money that you paid like what i paid in like crew i could pay in city and have like a whole on suite and everything like a premium on suite so also in private accommodation so there are a lot of options available in sheffield which are like in the city and really close you if you're looking you could consider sheffield three unite students student roost um prestige students that is so nice it's so nice it's so expensive but it's so nice oh my god prestige students is really good i have a friend who lives there um Shaman Court, yeah, Shaman Court is really nice. The rooms are a bit small, but it's really, really nice. So yeah, you could always consider those. Um, but if you're looking to get like the university feel and just for the experience, you could spend your first year in uni accommodation and move out in your second year. Like nothing spoiled, nothing spoiled. Um, and also one thing I should add is like there are some job opportunities that you can only get if you were a resident. If you were living in like university accommodation like there was this life mentor role in case you're ever interested in that pays really good you couldn't get it if you lived in student accommodation so you might want to look into that it seems like i've come to the end of this video i hope that this video was helpful in some way shape or form um i hope it's helped you to be able to decide you know what uni accommodation you want to go to or if you already know where you're going to what that might look like what that might feel like and if you have any suggestions in the And if you have any suggestions on the types of videos that you would want to see coming forward or any way I can help you at all, just let me know down in the comment section. I might take a while to reply. I'm sorry in advance, but I will get to you at some point. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. Um, subscribe, share to whoever this might help. And yeah, bye guys. Good luck.